We've all been pretty excited for Callisto Protocol, which of course was developed by some of the minds behind the Dead Space series. It was one of the most anticipated games of 2022, but unfortunately, it is launched to some of the worst reviews of the year because it is basically unplayable on PC, Xbox players are having massive issues as well, and now it's sitting with thousands of negative reviews on Steam only a day after launch. I have a few things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or support the channel via YouTube membership. All of the links are in the description, and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So let's start with this Slash Gear article. It says the Callisto Protocol being slammed with negative reviews on Steam. I was so disappointed when I heard that this was yet another game launching with massive problems. This is yet another game that needed like six months to cook. The developers needed like another half a year with it. But of course, we see companies rush products out in time for the holidays so that they can make more sales. And this was a pretty anticipated game this year, so it's no surprise that they rushed it. Unfortunately, though, it's not just like a small handful of problems, there are some massive game-breaking issues with this title. The Callisto Protocol is a story-driven survival horror sci-fi game that launched on December 2nd on Xbox, PlayStation, and Steam. I actually had purchased a copy of this on Steam, but because of all of the technical issues, I went out and picked up a copy on the PlayStation 5 because I am going to be streaming a full playthrough of it, but... I definitely didn't want to deal with the performance problems, and I know a lot of other people who bought it on PC and started playing it on PC are very upset right now. It says, while there are many reasons why video games get bad reviews, the main focus of bad reviews usually relates to poorly executed gameplay and mechanics, an in-game currency that turns it into a pay-to-win experience, bugs and performance, or simply failing to deliver a complete game. Some of these problems are, of course, fixable after launch through updates and patches, and in recent years, game studios have become notorious for abusing the live service model by delivering an incomplete or buggy game at launch, only to send out an update a few weeks later correcting some of the biggest problems. Now, this game isn't a live service title. It doesn't have any pay to win in it, but all of these other issues that are listed, the game is suffering from. Despite its pricing putting the game right in AAA territory and the story and overall gameplay being quite well executed and engaging according to reviews, the title for PC is riddled with performance issues. The game's Steam Store reviews tell a story of users frustrated with frame dropping and hitching, which makes the game virtually unplayable despite some of the reviewers playing on low settings using some of the best gaming hardware out there. Now, a giant problem here is that, yes, first of all, it is a full-price $70 video game. It should be launching with little to no problems. Of course, a bug or glitch here and there is bound to happen, but some people can't even get past the first few opening scenes because of how poorly it's performing. The game is unplayable for most people, even at the lowest settings with half-decent PCs, and even when you have a high-end PC, people can't run it at the highest settings. It is unacceptable when indie and AAA developers release games in this state and they get no passes from me. Of course, we're all very excited for it, so we all want to hope that they're going to fix it soon. I know that they've rolled out a small patch already, but these issues are still persistent. They are going to have to do a lot of work on this title. And going on over to Steam, as you can see, the game is not doing well. It only launched yesterday, and it's already sitting at over 10,000 reviews. And it's sitting at mixed right now, but it's right at that edge of going back into negative territory. And it's been sitting in the mostly negative territory since launch. 
A lot of the recently posted reviews are very positive. It seems like people are trying to review this game positively so that it doesn't sit in the negative range, which if you like the game, that's great. I'm glad for you. But you can't ignore the issues that other people are having just because you may not be having them or you were very excited for this title. It's unfortunate, but this game didn't launch in a good state. They wanted to rush it out in time for the holidays. Uh, looking at some of the in the past day reviews, though, most are negative. People are very upset, very disappointed. The first one says, not recommended. I need to state this first before anything else. You get to a checkpoint, you upgrade your weapons, you go somewhere else, you die. It brings you back to that checkpoint before you even did those upgrades. It feels very amazing. But even if that was the only problem, if you upgrade, manually save, and then load, it still doesn't save those upgrades. It's 2022 almost 2023. No game should have that type of problem. This is making you do the same things if you die over and over again. I too have stuttering and FPS issues and they say that they even have a 4080. It says considering how the game looks good, but sometimes you get huge FPS drops for no reason whatsoever, nothing's happening on the screen, and the environment isn't supposed to be open world. Scrolling down, don't buy this game right now. It is a stuttering mess that runs poorly as of day one. I will update if they fix it and then maybe talk about the gameplay. The PlayStation 5 version also drops frames apparently, but nowhere near this. Maybe buy that one instead if you can. That is what I heard is that the PlayStation 5 version has very minor problems, but still some issues, but the Xbox and PC versions are much, much worse. It's very sad, especially for the people who don't have all of these consoles available to them. A lot of people just have a PC, that's how they game, and it's as simple as that. Someone said the stutter protocol. Developer crunch check. Miserable launch that they 100% knew ran like absolute trash that they released anyway. Check. Late review embargo lifting. Check. Product refunded. Check. This is something that a lot of people have been pointing out is that they did uh, lift the review embargo pretty late. They only released it a day before launch and I mean a lot of the journalists were giving it really high reviews and I even saw journalists giving this game more negative reviews, not because of performance problems, but because they said the game is too hard, which of course is just laughable, but those people didn't say that the game was buggy, was broken, that it had these technical issues, which is very suspicious. It is very sad that this game has released in such a broken and buggy state. I hope over the next week or two they put a lot of time into a patch and the patch releases and it actually helps players out. But as you can see, it is just getting ratioed right now. I am going to be streaming it starting tonight when this video goes up, so I am going to judge it myself. We are going to be doing a full playthrough on the channel, but before we can accurately judge the last large release of the year, they've got some major issues they need to fix, and all we can do is hope they listen to consumers to quickly rectify the problems. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.